and then Sandoro at the final fly. It's Cerberus Robbie Parr uh, over three lengths in front of a wave of the sea, and then Trim Wedge and Sandoro into the closing stages. It's Cerberus and Robbie Parr making all in the opening juvenile with in second stable companion a wave of the sea. Third is Trim Wedge, then Sandoro and Denard Rose. And then Sandoro at the final flight. It's Cerberus Robbie Parr uh, over three lengths in front of a wave of the sea. And then Trim Wedge and Sandoro into the closing stages. It's Cerberus and Robbie Parr making all in the opening juvenile with in second stable companion a wave of the sea. Third is Trim Wedge, then Sandoro and Denard Rose. And it's on the far side, Envoy Len and Abacadabra. They're holding the case for Gordon Elliott over the final flight in the Royal Bond. And it's Envoy Len, the leader from Abacadabra on the near side. But Envoy Len has the measure of Abacadabra. And Envoy Len further enhances his lofty reputation. Is destined for high order, is made virtually all in the Royal Bond from Abacadabra, Darverstar, Turnpike Trip, and Embittered. And it's on the far side, Envoy Len and Abacadabra. They're holding the case for Gordon Elliott over the final flight in the Royal Bond. And it's Envoy Len, the leader from Abacadabra on the near side. But Envoy Len has the measure of Abacadabra. And Envoy Len further enhances his lofty reputation. Is destined for high order, is made virtually all in the Royal Bond from Abacadabra, Darverstar, Turnpike Trip, and Embittered. At the final fence, safely over from Borough St. Ronald Pomp and Shefter's oboe. But Fakir Duderi will give connections compensation. They were just touched off in last year's race. Fakir Duderi makes up for it here. Has won by a wide margin. Second, Ronald Pomp. In third, Borough St. Shefter's oboe. The only other finisher in what was a case of what would have been. At the final fence, safely over from Borough St. Ronald Pomp and Shefter's oboe. But Fakir Duderi will give connections compensation. They were just touched off in last year's race. Fakir Duderi makes up for it here. Has won by a wide margin. Second, Ronald Pomp. In third, Borough St. Shefter's oboe. The only other finisher in what was a case of what would have been. Killer Miller's not out of it for Sean Flanagan and then Glorious Galway, who's given way at the final fence. Monlino stalled on the approach but leads a little look and Killer Miller on the outside inside the final 100 yards and Killer Miller on the near side has come to claim Monlino and a little look and Killer Miller has won it for Sean Flanagan no mean. Killer Miller's not out of it for Sean Flanagan and then Glorious Galway, who's given way at the final Final fence, Monlino stalled on the approach but leads a little look and Keller Miller on the outside inside the final 100 yards and Keller Miller on the near side has come to claim Monlino and a little look and Keller Miller has won it for Sean Flanagan no mean. In second place is Bacardi's Apples Jade back in third at the final flight. Honey Suckle over, flicks her way through it inside the final 150 yards. This is a special mare, and it's a Hatton's full of grace as Honey Suckle and Rachel Blackmore are impressive winners of the Bar One Racing.com Hatton's Grace Hurdle. Second is Bacardi's, and third is Apples Jade. And a bit of a break to the other three. In second place is Bacardi's Apples Jade back in third at the final flight. Honey Suckle over, flicks her way through it inside the final 150 yards. This is a special mare, and it's a Hatton's full of grace as Honey Suckle and Rachel Blackmore are impressive winners of the Bar One Racing.com Hatton's Grace Hurdle. Second is Bacardi's, and third is Apples Jade, and a bit of a break to the other three.
and it's built me up on a cup on the near side, joining issue with Janadil, the stable companions. Janadil is digging down deep, is digging down deep from Built Me Up on a Cup. Artic Alam and Ciel Dinesh with a rattle late, but Janadil will win another. Built Me Up on a Cup second, and then Artic Alam, Ciel Dinesh, La Soralita, Hearts of Trumps. And it's built me up on a cup on the near side, joining issue with Janadil, the stable companions. Janadil is digging down deep, is digging down deep from built me up on a cup. Artic Alam and Ciel Dinesh with a rattle late, but Janadil will win another. Built me up on a cup second, and then Artic Alam, Ciel Dinesh, La Soralita, Hearts of Trumps. Racing inside the last furlong, it's Eric Bloodax out in front, gone five, six lengths clear from Fernie Hollow, and then comes Ragnar Lodbrock, but up towards the finish, it is Eric Bloodax and Tom Hamilton going to bring up a treble for Joseph O'Brien. What an afternoon for him. Second is Fernie Hollow, then Ragnar Lodbrock for Vori de Chomdu, followed home by Flanking Maneuver and Jimmy Jimmy. Racing inside the last furlong, it's Eric Bloodax out in front, gone five, six lengths clear from Fernie Hollow, and then comes Ragnar Lodbrock, but up towards the finish, it is Eric Bloodax and Tom Hamilton going to bring up a treble for Joseph O'Brien, what an afternoon for him, second is Fernie Hollow, then Ragnar Lodbrock for Vori de Chomdu, followed home by Flanking Maneuver and Jimmy Jimmy.